Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I'm not sure if I should make a deadline day signing or not. It depends uh, if um, I can actually make a good signing. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty much guaranteed at this point. Um, that uh, a robbery, if he accepts, there will be... Well, yeah, it is guaranteed. If robbery accepts, he'll be a deadline a signing but it's not looking likely right now it's been like five hours yeah he's accepted which is pretty good to be honest um well yeah i do actually really need saint maximin uh, to stay fit now robbery and Mm. Uh, Jao Pedro mm, are different types of players because obviously if I go to uh, look right now I have like three strikers that I'm actually going to be using two of them have shown great potential one's already 81 uh, rated so but mm, Brian <laughs> Brian Robbery, uh, 79 physical, 91 strength, good pace as well. Um, uh, so what he would be more useful um, is just like um, just a straight up striker, because like I like having good strong strikers, and especially with that jumping, he'll tower over. Um, and he's actually pretty tall, quite a bit tall. I'm actually gonna compare him and João Pedro. So he is five foot eleven. João Pedro is six foot. So it, it just looks like he's a lot, of, uh, quite a bit taller, but he's not. They're pretty much the same height, an inch different. I can manage. So I'll just say that they're both six foot. Um, obviously, João Pedro, much lighter, about 50 pounds lighter, but, uh, but that just means that other, because this player, he's strong and pacey, which is really good. Now, obviously, João Pedro, if I go on to his, they both have 81 pace, which I'm happy about. But if I go on to his, I'm currently improving his attack and work rate, but it takes a lot less time to teach him how to play um, in, like, wide midfield. Looking at it, should I make him... Like, a more of, like, that Firmino type player. And he plays more of a centre forward role. Because I can easily teach him back uh, into striker. Yeah, I probably should actually. Like, getting those passes in um, to Brooks and St. Maximin. Uh, who will go up in school because he's got so I'm pretty sure that they both have the same pace and shooting and uh, then he is a lot less uh, physical that's what I like about probably his physical is stupidly good I'll keep him as a striker. I think the only two positions that he's actually fit in uh, is a centre forward and striker, and they're pretty similar roles. So yeah. And probably, how long would it take him to learn how to play centre forward? Because oh, would he be able to be like more of that Roberto Firmino type player? He because I want to have one player uh, where Cooper's more of a proper striker and then the other young uh, youngster striker I'm going to teach um, I'm going to give them the role of I'm going to give them the role of a centre forward and I think Jean Pedro is currently most fit for that but I like them both being strikers and 
Muto, I don't know if it would just be a better idea releasing him. He does not deserve the number uh, 9, he deserves the number just 92. And it's either Pedro or, because obviously Wilson, I'm pretty sure he also had um, number 13 at Bournemouth. So, uh, I think Brobbery should probably have number 9. Oopsie, I accidentally clicked on his, because uh, Robbery will definitely be that striker. So, a lot of really good signings, honestly. Yeah, we do sign Brobbery and his over so not his overall, his value's already gone up. There he is, showing off his new kit number. He's taller than my manager or about the same height. But clubs well well that is a high amount of money. Wait, isn't Harving Lozano actually a um, Mexican player. I think it is. Oh, yeah, of course, Mexico's highest rated player is Raul Jimenez. Yep, he is. Lozano is actually at Chelsea now. So, yeah, and the problem with, um, uh, this side is the best players are all the attack and then they have one decent midfielder because I have Jimenez who obviously in, in real life is out injured uh, with a head injury <laughs> and I just have to uh, relate everything to Wolves <laughs> Vela um, Vela will actually be dropped. 32. Oh, wait. Do we have any international uh, games this year? To be fair, um, we're not the only team who are expected to do better, like Chelsea in 8th. Um, Aston Villa are actually doing really good. Yeah, yeah, we obviously won the Champions Trophy. Uh, it was pretty easy. We went through without losing in the group stage. And then we won against Sampdoria. And then we won against Watford. So, yeah, it doesn't look like we have any international stuff. Wait, wait. I think... I think... Yes. Okay, so I haven't actually seen our group. I, I just quickly went to A. Yeah, I will. Act. That's actually a good idea. So I know who will be going through that. Either Mulder and Munch and Gladbach or Genk and Munch and Gladbach. Sorry, Mitchelland. Well, they might have a chance. That might actually be group of death so far. And only in B. Leon Sporting and Rangers feel like it's going to be Leon and Rangers but that could go uh, anyway yeah that's um, I would say Bordex and Sevilla Wolves, Fenerbahce, Trey I feel like I feel like it's actually the table's actually going to stay the same for that one mm, I feel like again I think the, the only difference in that table is Olympiakos will come third and Anderlec will come third uh, uh, second, uh, that one's easy, United and AZ, I feel like United are gonna go on to win it, uh, Frankfurt and Marseille will be going through, I'm pretty sure, well, I think, Roma and Porto again will be going through, we have a good 
group actually like i feel like we're probably gonna come second considering that final is in there maybe first if we get some good results but second is what i'm hoping for in that group milan and psv will be going through there Real Sociedad and Braga, maybe Ghent, and Lazio and Wolfsburg, maybe uh, Young Boys if they're lucky. So that's the Europa. Why don't I actually go over the Champions League just to make it a bit more interesting? <laughs> just in case you're wondering in the Champions League. Leon were in the Europa League. Wait, that's Leon. Am I getting confused? So that's definitely Leon. Oh yeah, I am getting confused. There's just I'm pretty sure that's a French club as well. But I think the the table will stay the same other than Atletico Madrid will win it. Ooh, group of death so far, group of death so far, but I think it will actually stay the same in the table. Why are all the group of deaths in B there? Barcelona and Leipzig definitely going through there. Ooh, I know who will be going through there, but it, but Athletic Club, if they're able to beat Inter, mate, I feel like that one will come down to the final day. Ooh, ooh, that's definitely group of death so far. Because uh, Real Madrid will definitely come top, but then all the other teams are all pretty similar. So I feel like Real Madrid will come on top and all the other teams will be battling for that second and third place. And whoever comes fourth is just unlucky. I feel like Celtic will get into the Europa League. Leverkusen, I think, will get in second, but Liverpool obviously first. And then I think the table will stay the same there. So that's how the Champions League and Europa League went this season. Now, I'm probably not going to be making any more signings. I am, but I am just going to go to the end anyway. Nottingham Forest looking like they're trying to... They're really trying to get ready. Ooh, ooh. You know, Bournemouth realised that we had bought Brooks and they were like, we need a new wide midfielder. But that is actually tempting. 8.5 for the backup. <clears throat> if he gets sold, uh, I might sign another backup, so. Wow. Um, Spurs selling a lot of players. Swansea buying a lot of players for but for not that much. Manquilio? Like I know it's not gonna go through but wait wait What? I don't know how that works, it just automatically said they couldn't agree on terms. But Manquilio is leaving. Well, I have plans for that. Guess he won't mind too much if he's on the transfer list. That's strange. Wait, have Aston Villa bought Renato Sanchez? I might have actually bought... Fraser sold literally last minute. Wait, I misread it as 8k. It was only 48k. from me wearing hair well if i'm pretty sure this player was a free agent before 
And if he's good enough for RB Leipzig to pick him up. No, he wasn't. I just want to get him on a short loan and see what his rating actually... No, he can't accept because it's last day of deadline. Yeah, I guess I'll try anyway. But he's showing great potential. So... Oh, he's actually got like... A big wage as well, so maybe obviously Leipzig have a future star on their hands. Now, this is the player that I'm looking to buy as a potential um, new backup wide player. Uh, so I feel like um might be a bit expensive, but we should be able to afford him as a backup. Uh, so, yep. If Brighton want to sell him, that is, um, fine. Well, if he wants to leave, because Brighton were recent. Were they relegated? Yeah, they were relegated. So, honestly, I'll want to leave as well. Can we offer 14 million for this lad? Of course. Every single club in the world wants this Taylor Roberts. He, he is literally the next big player of world football. So, like, like even Atletico Madrid and clubs like that. Like, wait, I'm pretty sure there was actually a time where I had like a. 61 rated player and like for some reason in your youth academy that you start off with whenever you get like an, a future star the first club to um offer is for some reason always atletico madrid don't know why but wait wingers no i can't i don't just want to another winger go so He's gonna say no um, for arguing over it for far too long, but oh, I'm not paying that. accidentally offered to buy him I don't know what happened but I offered to loan him then like, like for some reason now it's yeah yeah I'll just make a guess that he's worth <laughs> wait actually think I'll look what he's worth at the start of the game Okay. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tyler Roberts. FIFA twenty one. Then seventy two at the start of the game. He's worth five point five. So I feel like. Like, this is what I hate offering for players I don't know the value of because I could completely mess up a move that I quite want. Omer uh, to Plak, I'm happy with him leaving. He's aging. He was a signing last uh, year to get the board happy. So I don't mind if he's gonna leave. So, because it asked me to sign a Veriton player, and he's obviously considered a Veriton player. I 
actually, he's working really well with me. Yeah, we have loads of money to spend. I'm not hugely fussy about this. Okay, now please, please, please be... 74 rated. Mmm, he can be... I think... Like this lad here does actually look like a future star, considering that uh, he was showing great potential, and he's actually earning about uh, 3k, uh, which is a lot for an 18 year old actually. Now I want to see what will Tyler Roberts overall go to wait isn't our young like next star called Taylor Roberts we can have the Roberts lads wait literally my whole bench is new signings that I technically made other than uh, Darlow, which of course he's on there. So I signed Robbery, I signed Jao Pedro, I signed this guy, I signed this guy, kind of signed this guy, and I signed this guy. So you can tell that I really, really am uh, changing the squad. Why does this keep happening? I feel like. No, it's not overheating or anything. I don't know why this would be happening. <laughs> you know, he might. What, what? Yeah, why does this keep happening? Like, if this isn't me, this is my controller being weird. Do I need to unplug it and plug it back in again? That sometimes helps. Just making sure that my controller's on. Yeah, there. You know what? I'll just teach him to play right wing. Because that will be where I'm actually playing him. I was just seeing if he grows in overall. If I pre I'm pretty sure it should take... Uh, two weeks because he's his um rating isn't going up uh, while his like um boost thing isn't going up or down if it goes down it means it will take maybe uh i don't know six weeks i guess yep two weeks to um oh two weeks to get center forward six weeks to get striker Wait, what foot does he use? Right, so I'll teach him to be a left winger because he does also have a uh, freestyle weak foot. So if I'm using him, because I want him to be able to cut and stuff. So Tyler Roberts, and this should be the end of deadline day. <laughs> That's the noise that it's meant to make. I think my volume's just off. So. Yeah. Hayden, no, I'm not like Ayoso Perez. <laughs> you know, I'm really tempted to accept this. Oh, he's on poor form and we already have a load of right wingers, so oopsie, I accidentally blocked it. Oh <laughs> piano this could be the next Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry. That could be the next Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry, Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. That could be the next Thierry Henry. Yes, it really could. Ole. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is very cringe, eh? Ah, oh, no, I don't need to know that we're literally doing some stupid international friendly. Sorry about that. I'm starting to get a bit weird, aren't I? I don't mean to be a weird. 
but I will like, this video is like 25 minutes long and I'm gonna you know I'm starting because I didn't really have many games to play so you know we lose to US there that's pain 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 I don't know it's a friendly my assistant was probably playing the weaker team honestly Oh, I'm so annoyed. Look, 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 it comes. Okay, but. So. I would actually like to buy him next season, maybe halfway through the season. You know, I thought I was really low on money, but I'm not actually. I'm like, I'm actually really good on money. Could have signed Eric Lamella. Dennis Pratt looks good. His best stats are short passing, dribbling, ball control, vision, long passing, and long shots. You know, I might actually want to put him on. Well, these are all players I scalped before you know just seeing uh, that for Jao Martino I'm like does he really deserve that <laughs> you know um even if I spend every little penny I've got in my transfer budget um That man actually really could be the next Thierry Henry. Honestly. Look, um, shooting. You know, you know, I might actually offer for him. Once I've got all his stats properly, um, because I need, what I really need to do is I need to look for players which you can consider the next Henri or the next Ronaldo or something like that. I don't want to be signing uh, the, the, um, the next, yeah, I don't want the next Johnny Trigger. That, that would be great, honestly. <laughs> wow, uh, he's really good um, rating. When does uh, when does he go up to an eighty-two? If he does it this, the what? Dynamic potential works so well. I'm pretty sure he only has eighty potential. So, bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I certainly enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So, bye. I hope you enjoyed watching.